Hello. If I could, like, uh, knock you guys all the way back to where she is so that I can keep her from casting, that would be pretty pog. Yeah, keep the sylph going. All right, this is already going way better. Let me stop her from casting. Oh, she, she's getting up in the business. I didn't expect her to get over here. What the heck? Yeah, keep casting that sylph. I'm going to be out of magic here in a second, and then we're going to, or TP rather. Well, I could use orange gels if I need to. How much, how much health do you have? Oh, way less than the others, huh? Okay, interesting. Oh, dang it, that one got past me, though. That's a problem. I need to be on the other side of you. Or I need you to die. Oh, you died, wow. I was not expecting you to die there. I didn't think I'd done that much damage, okay. Yeah, sylph it up, sylph it up. All right, this is going infinitely better than last time. I think I was just playing really poorly the first attempt because I wasn't warmed up. Now we're like good to go, although I am now out of TP. I have used it all. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. Hey, whatever you're doing with that little shield thing, stop it. I don't like that, it makes me nervous. You only had like 3,000 HP. You gotta be getting close. No, 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 you're not getting by me. You're not getting by, yeah, get fireballed. Keep the sylphs rolling, brother. I don't know if I can use like any, I don't think I have enough TP to use any of my arts. I'm hitting like all my art buttons, it's not working. Die, there we go. All right, just Jameer left. Should be low on health, oh, Jameer's dead. That went infinitely better than the first attempt. Ooh, look at all that money and stuff. Night Saber, interesting. Level ups for all. Woo. We got her, right? How's the prince? Is he also dead? Oh, no, he's good. We in this. What have I been? Who are you? We. Guards, guards! Huh? Oh, there are those guards. I was wondering when they'd show up. Your Majesty, are you safe? I'm fine. But that's not important. Guards, arrest these intruders. Yes, sir. Don't bother pleading with them. They won't give a dang about what criminals like us have to say. So let's just behave like good little boys and girls and go along. Oh man, this sucks. Does this mean we gotta eat icky food? I expect the king and his chief statesman to carefully analyze the situation and figure out precisely what's been going on. You're saying we'll be released when they realize the prince has returned to his true self? Yeah. Boo. What are you complaining about? Shut up. Fine, fine. So, like, what do we do now? I don't know, you want to, like, play charades? Gotta pass some time, I guess. Oh, I've seen doors like this before. This is super easy to open. You just need, like, a rusty sword. Preferably one that's been stabbed through Mint's mother. King, welcome to stream. Game's pretty good so far. I'm enjoying Tales of Fantasia. It's a good time. Just calm down. They'll probably come knocking any second. I don't think it's going to take them long to realize the prince's change of demeanor. Ah, they better hurry up then. If they make me stay here any longer, my skin's going to get all dry and pasty and gross. Ooh, who is this? Is this the king? I want you to escort these people to the throne room. Treat them with courtesy. To the throne room? As you wish, sir. My name is Lundgrom. What amazing names they have in this game, dude. I serve this kingdom as court mage. Ah, I see. You do have, like, pointy elf ears, I noticed. His majesty invites you to the throne room. He wishes to personally question you regarding your actions in this occasion. Yay, Clorth was right. Hello there. I ask that you state your reason for infiltrating this castle under cover of nightfall in order to save the prince. Oh, what the? Wait a minute, what just happened? Streamlabs just flashed. Oh, my stream disconnected. It's not even snowing today. What happened with my stream? Please reconnect. the heck is that about? Just a, just a second, YouTube. Just 
just reconnect in here, huh? That's weird. I had this problem like a week ago when it was uh, snowing a lot. But after the snow went away, I hadn't run into that problem again since. Thankfully, my recording is still going. This is why I always locally record when I'm streaming. Is for moments like these. Oh, here we go. Reconnecting, maybe? Reconnecting, maybe? I really hope I don't have to, like, stop stream and then restart it, because then I'm going to have to, like, edit some VODs together, which I don't want to do, which is why I'm waiting to see if it'll just work. Yeah, 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 my stream is experiencing issues, I've noticed, but why, though? My internet is way too good to be having issues like this. Have any trouble, like, opening a, a web page? Nope, pretty much instant. It's just my stream that's having issues. On the same day that uh, Streamlabs had a sudden update right before stream started, I'll choose to blame that. Oh, I think we're live again. I think I'm back. Are we good? We're back? All right, chat says we're back. Sorry about that, chat. Streamlabs just had some kind of DC issue. I don't think it was my internet. I think it was something with Streamlabs. It did just have some kind of an update today. So, not sure what's going on with that. Or maybe it's an issue with Twitch. Could be Streamlabs, could be Twitch. I don't know. But hopefully it just doesn't happen again. What craziness is... Silence, Laird. You know nothing, you foolish child. Your Majesty, if I may, at this time, powerful magic is of utmost importance to us. With your country being the world's authority on the subject, our presence here should be of no surprise. You need magic? What for? It's Deus' only vulnerability. As you might glean from what I've said, our journey is to execute him. What? Truly? Ah, I suppose that settles it. I summoned you all to my throne to determine if you were mere thieves who saved Laird by chance. Or if your purpose truly was to save him. It would appear your intentions were pure. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Das was manipulating my every move? Father, surely this is a lie. I do not speak in jest. My ability to mobilize forces to provide assistance for the oncoming war has been suppressed until now. Upon reflection, I have no doubts in my mind that was Deus's objective. Excuse me for asking, but there's a war breaking out? No, oh, haven't you at least heard any rumors during your journey? Well, anyways, the time draws near for Midgard, an ally of ours, to clash with Deus' forces. Aha, uh -huh, now that you mention it, I remember some folks telling us about something like that. I wish to make you a proposition. If and when you feel your quest for spells has been met to your satisfaction, would you consider lending your power toward the war effort? Absolutely. Love me some war, man. Now, we thought you'd like to know that the monster you dispatched left some spoils behind. Here's one of them. I'm sure you'll find it to be of use. And... Wait, this is a Grimoire. One I've been looking all over for. Is it of no use to you? Either way, I have no right to it. It was I was not the one to slay the monster, after all. It happened to be clutching this as well. A spear! It is called Gungner. Dang! Got all of the Norse stuff going on here. It's a legendary artifact said to have been forged during the final battle of the gods. You journey with the full authority of Alvanista. Show no restraint. Do we really just get the weapon Gungner? Like... What, like... Seven hours into this game? We're just tossing this bad boy out like it's nothing? You may rely on us if ever anything should ail you. Thank you very much. Let's get down to business then, to defeat the Huns, of course. Yes, I've heard the song. I'd like an exploration, exploration permit for the Moria Mine as soon as possible. What do you need that for? You're not going on a simple treasure hunt, I take it. Correct. I've gotten some promising leads that the ring necessary to pact with the spirit of the moon, Luna, is in there. It is vital to our cause. Also, Luna is like the moon spirit in this game. Normally, she and Oscar are just like dual light spirits, I think. Ah, very well. I shall have it prepared at once in the name of your leader. Procure it at the Adventurer's Guild in the city at your earliest convenience. My research awaits, Your Highness. Then I shall also be returning to my chambers. Well, this went incredibly well somehow. 
The Garnet Pact Ring, Gungner, and a copy of Seleno Fragments. Straight up just gave me Gungner, huh? Just like it was no big deal. I guess that means Gungner must not be that great in this game. Oh, it actually is kind of bad. <laughs> I don't know if 19 Thrust is worth losing 10 Slash, but I think I want Slash more than I want Thrust. To be completely honest. Max MP by 30%? Ooh. That is interesting. Validates physical damage 10% of the time. You know what? Get rid of this for the Black Onyx, I think. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Can I have a lot of money? I pray that the goddess of Felicity may smile upon you wherever you may go. The character from the CW's show Arrow, based off of Green Arrow? She's a goddess in this game? I'm gonna sleep in this bed. Don't mind me. Parts weapon too. Oh, that green more he got would be a weapon, wouldn't it? Right, I forgot that his weapons are like those. Oh, that's an incredible buff. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, well, this is not the way out. We have to leave the legit way now. Hi there. That pink-haired girl is a mage, huh? In that case, would you like to buy her a spell book? Ooh. Thunderbeam? Thunderblade. I recognize Thunderblade. Oh, the 12k gold, huh? This is a weapon, right? Not a spell that we're buying? Oh no, I can't find it. Oh, that's right, my mistake. A middle-aged looking man wearing a, oh, what was it? It looked like a yellow raincoat or something. Well, anyway, a human matching that description was the one who took it. He didn't tell me his name or where it was from, sorry. All right, so I assume that that's like some super powerful spell that we have to get later or something. Thunder Sword? Can't find it, apologies for the outburst. I remember selling that one a while ago. Yes, I remember her appearance quite vividly. She was a cute young girl with braided blonde hair and a pink apron dress. She introduced herself, but I don't remember her name so clearly. It sounded something like Lily. Okay, interesting. Well, I'll just take Thunderblade then. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so yeah, it's a spell that she just learns. All right, Thunderblade is a classic. Gotta get Thunderblade. Have you picked up your permit to the Moria Mine yet? No, it's waiting for you at the Adventurer's Guild. All right, thanks, dude. Pardon us, sir, but do you have any clues about the locations of the spirits? We theorize that Afrit, the Spirit of Fire, lives in the Cave of Searing Sand on the continent of Freylin. All right, gotta get my boy Afrit. Sleepy, pulled an all-nighter. I feel that. As I thought, the design of the shape is somehow related. Got any juicy info on the location of any spirits? I think so, let's see. Right, the information we have placed is Undine, the Spirit of Water, in the Eroded Grotto. That place is located on a solitary island in the North Sea. Our information also places Gnome, the Spirit of Earth, in the Cave of Spirits. What a shock. And that place is in a cavern east of Belladam. I hope that helps. Alright, east of Belladam, that's like... That's doable. I know how to get there. I don't know how to get to where they said Freet and Undine were. But I mean, I was under the impression from how this game started that like getting the spirits would be like required. But if some of them are like, hey, you could get it or not, then I would like to get them. Wait a minute, I'm lost. How do I leave this place? How do I leave this maze? Oh, here we go. This is what I need. Yeah, much better. Subtraction Guru? You there, would you like to play a little game? I'll give you a prize if you can manage to defeat me, that is. Sure, dude. Need an explanation of the rules? I don't even know what we're playing. This is what I call the subtraction game. Oh boy, math, here we go. It's a glorious battle of wits between you and I. The premise is simple, just take some rocks from the draw pile on your turn. The player who picks up the last one is the loser, and no, you can't just take all but one of them. You may only take one, two, or three of them at a time, no more, no less. Also, you only have a limited amount of times to do this. If you can't decide in time, you'll have to take one by default. If you want to quit, just like cancel on your turn. Okay, I yeah, I get this, I can do this. How many rocks are there? There are 34 rocks in this pot, would you like to go first? Yes. All right, well, the 34, we gotta get it down. So we may as well just start by taking three a lot. Two. All right, here's where it matters. Three. 
We have to take one here. Oh, no, wait, no, I messed up. Okay, I understand what I did wrong. We need to start paying attention. I thought that I would start paying attention once it was under 10, but we have to pay attention once it's at 10. Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't need an explanation. My bad, my bad. For some reason, I, uh, I thought, like... When you get to zero, you're good, but it's you can't take the last one. Right, right, right. Okay, I understand now. 26 rocks. I, I will go first. I like to be in control. Take three. We just want to get it down to like 12. 13. Take two. He's taking two. Nine. Take one. He took three. Oh no, I think we lose again because he's going to take three. Yeah. This is not easy. I think I actually want to go second. Twenty-eight rocks in the pot. Would you like to go? No, you go first. All right, he's taking three. I'm taking three. He's taking one. I'm taking three. Taking one. I'm taking one. He's taking three. Two. He took two. We're at nine again. Take one. Take one. No, dang it! <laughs> How do you do this? I'm gonna win this at least once. Why do they have like 36 rocks sometimes? Oh, did I go first again? I didn't mean to go first again. I should really think ahead of time, but whatever. We're at nine again. This always happens that I lose somehow. Take three. No, I lose again. Take two. Yeah, and then he takes two. Ah! Yeah, I figured it's random how many rocks there are at the start. It just doesn't make sense why there would be. Because the game, like, the game doesn't matter until you get down to, like, 12. They should really just start with, like, 20 each time. There's no point in starting at, like, 38. Like, what? All this does is make the start of the game take longer. Right, he takes two. Take one. There are 12. He takes three. I'm at nine again. I always lose when I get to nine. Yeah, I always lose if I get to nine. I need to get to, like, ten somehow. If I get to ten, then theoretically I should win. The game matters from the start? I don't really think it does. Because we can take any multiple of one, two, or three, so, like... I don't think the game really matters until you get, like, low down on numbers, and then you have to perfectly do it to where, like, you will... It'll be your turn when there are four left. Four or less. Because we can take any amount, it doesn't really matter if we have, like, 27 or 30 at the start. Because all that means is, like, oh, well, I just take three. Okay, and now we're at 27. Big deal. I meant to go second. All right, both taking threes. Let's go. Take low numbers. He's taking three. 13. Take two. That puts us at 11. He'll take two and put us at nine. Do this. Put us at 10. He's going to put me at nine again. I have to not be at nine. How do you not be at nine on this? I know the AI can take any amount. Chat, I'm not stupid. Like, I can, I can read and I know numbers. I want you to go first. Like, I read the rules. I know that the AI gets to take them like I do. Taking one. I take one. Are you going to take three? Yeah, he always gets himself at nine. This game is stupid. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I didn't mean to go first. I'm hitting one every single time. Just see what happens. Okay, I do three here and then I'm at ten. But then he just takes one and puts me at nine again. One. One. How are you supposed to win this? It's just whoever gets to nine first wins.
Yeah, he's just taking three until he gets near nine. Yeah, now I can't stop him from getting to nine again. This game is dumb. Crappy minigame. All right, later, loser. It's a crappy math puzzle is what it is. And also very boring. Lame minigame is lame. Let's go do something fun instead. Some good news for once. Prince Layard is free. Thanks to our efforts in saving him, we have earned permission to explore the Maria Mine. Not to mention, we got the incredible Spear Gungner. Yeah, that Spear actually sucks. Hey, is it really so great? No, not really. Sure, it's called the Divine Spear after all. It's really not that good. Apparently, a freed's living in a Freylandian cave. Yes. Fire spirits like hot places, right? Uh, who would have guessed? I'd hope so. Apparently, Gnome's living in a cave east of Belladam. Yes. Earth spirits like caves, right? All right, well, I can see they put a lot of thought and effort into this. I'm not sure that's true per se, but that seems to be the case for Gnome. Apparently, Undine's living in a grotto on the solitary island in the North Sea. Yes. Wouldn't water spirits like a place surrounded by water? Only the ones that don't want to shrivel up, I'd imagine. Our Maria Mine entry permit should be ready right about now. Yeah, let's turn around and scoop it up. Where's the Adventurer's Guild again? Didn't Lundgrom say the tavern? Right, same thing? Yeah. Alright.